Hi everyone, it's Elf Day. Yeah, fantastic day in school. We always really enjoy it, don't we? Um, and my t-shirt is from my favorite Christmas film, Buddy the Elf. Santa, Santa's coming, I know him. That was a terrible impression, sorry. But we, when we do Elf Day, we're raising money for a really, really good cause. Um, for the Trevor Man Baby Unit in Brighton, uh, for babies that are born what's called prematurely. Um, maybe you were a premature baby, born, born earlier than was expected. And uh, sometimes those babies need an awful lot of care and support. And the Trevor Man Baby Unit does fantastic work for babies and for families. And when we do Elf Day, that's what we're raising money for, the Trevor Man Baby Unit. So we're coming towards that time of year, aren't we? We only have one week of term left after this week. Um, when, in fact, two weeks today is Christmas Day. I wonder what you want for Christmas this year. I wonder if you could tell me what you want for Christmas. Rosie, can you tell me what you want for Christmas? Oh... That's interesting. I thought it might be something to do with that. Arthur, what about you? What would you like for Christmas? Ooh, well, I never, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, and, oh, how about, who else could I ask? Mia, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, I definitely could have guessed that, absolutely. Well, whatever you want for Christmas, I think it's really important. I always think it's really important to remember two things at Christmas. The first is that hopefully you will get Father Christmas will bring you what you want. Hopefully he will. Um, but some people, many people in this country and, and around the world, don't always get what they want for Christmas. Um, and... You know, we should really be very grateful for what we get. We really should. We should really be thankful for any presents that we get. And the other thing I like to think about is it's not all about getting stuff, is it? It's also about giving stuff. Who really likes to give presents as well as get them? Okay, not quite as many. Well, as I've got older, and maybe as you get older, you'll, you'll enjoy this. I enjoy giving presents just as much as I enjoy getting them. I only really want one thing for Christmas this year. It's quite boring. I want some new golf shoes. And my wife's meant to be getting me some from Father Christmas, but I'm not sure she'll be able to manage to get me the right ones. Let's keep fingers crossed. Um, but I really enjoy getting the presents ready and giving them out to people and seeing their faces when they open their presents. I, would, I really, really enjoy that. And I think back to when I was a little boy, which is about 984 years ago, and the best present I ever had at Christmas. The best present I ever had at Christmas is to do with this old chap here. And that's my dad in the middle. It's not the best photo of him, um, but he's with my two sons. This is Alex. And this is Ian, and he's called Frank. And he has got a pint of beer, I think, in front of him, his favorite thing. Um, and the best present I ever had was from him. And I think I was about seven years old. And my favorite thing to do when I was seven years old was to play with little toy soldiers. And I used to have all these little toy soldiers, and I used to line them up, and we used to have wars and battles and all kinds of things. And my friend Richard, who lived around the corner, used to bring his soldiers and we used to play together. In fact, my friend Richard is still my friend. Um, and uh, we used to play soldiers. And I didn't know what I was getting for Christmas. And I can't remember what I'd asked for. But I remember my dad going into the garage quite a lot just before Christmas, in the build-up to Christmas. And I kept saying to him, what are you doing, Dad? He said, oh, it's a secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a big secret. And I kept thinking, hmm, I wonder what he's doing in there. I wonder what he could possibly be doing. And as we got nearer to Christmas, 
I got more and more interested in what was going on in there. In fact, I remember waking up quite late one evening and looking downstairs and the light from the garage, because we had a garage which was part of the house, you could walk straight into it, the light from the garage was still on. And I thought, what's going on in there? And I went walking down the stairs very quietly, creepy, creepy, creepy. And I looked and I thought, what's he doing? I can't imagine what he's doing. He looked like he was painting something very, very small and very carefully. But there was like a big round bit and he was painting that really, really carefully. Wondered what you're doing. Mm. But I didn't disturb him and I crept back up to bed. Creepy, creepy, creepy. And I lay in bed and I couldn't sleep. And I kept thinking, mm, I wonder if that's something to do with Christmas. Maybe it's something to do with me. Who knows? Um, Christmas Day eventually came, and I think because I was seven, I probably woke up at about half past three in the morning. Um, hopefully, you won't wake up that early on Christmas Day. But I remember I used to, I used to be so excited on Christmas morning that I couldn't stop shaking. I just used to shake on Christmas morning because I was so excited and I can remember at half past three we weren't allowed to go downstairs and Father Christmas had brought me a stocking and in the stocking there were some lovely things but I wasn't allowed to open them and I just had to sit there and wait and wait and wait and it felt like hours and days and years had gone past before eventually we got to open our stockings and open the things the lovely things that were in there and then we got to go downstairs. And under the Christmas tree was um, this very strange shape parcel. And it was quite big and it had like four sticky up bits, but it was all covered over with this wrapping paper. And I kept thinking, hmm, wonder what that is. What could that be? Is it something to do with? I don't know. What could it be? Anyway, we kept, I kept looking at it and we opened the presents and we all took it in turns as we do in our family to open the presents. And so it was uh, my sister's turn, then my brother's turn, then my mum's turn, then my dad's turn, then I had a turn. And, oh, you can't have, you know, and who's that one for? And eventually we'd done all the turns and there was one present left. It was that strange shaped one. And my dad said, this is for you. And he used my name. He didn't call me Mr. Coughlin. This is for you. And I said, oh, what amazing. What could it be? And I started ripping the paper off. And what it was is my dad had made me something called a fort. And he made it for me. So it was kind of like a castle. But it had four big towers in each corner. He'd painted every little detail onto the outside of the fort. And he'd left me special spaces so that I could line up my soldiers. And you know the ones that shoot, for example, I could put them through the kind of turret bits and shoot at other bits. And I could put my soldiers with cannons down in the main bit. And it had, in the, in the main area, it had like another little fort inside it. And it was amazing. And it was definitely, the best Christmas present I've ever had. And my dad didn't buy it, or Father Christmas didn't bring it to me, but my dad made it. And obviously he spent hours and hours and hours making me such a special present. I hope you all have a really, really special Christmas when it comes. We've got one more week left. We've got quite a few things going on during that week. Um, and I know, oh, I've seen some of your Christmas performances that we're going to be sending to parents. They are just the best. They're amazing. I'm, I've seen only one or two of them. I'm looking forward to seeing them all. Do you know, I've left the jokes on my desk again. I'm going to go and get the jokes. Right, Albie, Albie Barnes has sent me some. Uh, this is my favourite. What kind of music do elves like best? Rap music. 
Why? Because they have to wrap presents, don't they, for Father Christmas? Right, hang on. Uh, right, this is from Jasleen. How does a penguin build his house? It glues it together. Igloo. Okay, that is a good one. Uh, this one is from Luca. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right, this is the good one. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, why did the fly fly? Because the spider spied her. Great joke, but not very Christmassy. Let's see if Albie's got one more Christmassy. Uh, one. Ah, oh, this is it. This is again from Albie. Why are Christmas trees bad knitters? They keep dropping their needles. Ha 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 ha. Great one. So have a great elf day. Let's have a fabulous last week to the term and I'll see you all soon. Bye.